Altium has a lot of tools available that we don't have time to cover all of them. But let me show you some really handy things about filtering and changing some of the properties on your project. Let's say I'm looking at this 100 nanofarad capacitor here. If I right click on the capacitor, I have properties. And I can see here's my footprint. If I hit edit, I can see a picture of the footprint. I can see the value, right? I can see the library it came from, miscellaneous devices, designator. If I wanted to change the properties of all these 100 nanofarad capacitors, what would be the best way to do that? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to right click on this capacitor and tell it find similar objects. Now I can look in here and see here's my similar objects, right? Here's all the properties of that capacitor. And what is it I want to do? How do I want to change it? I can tell it, look, find every capacitor that's uh, 100 nanofarads. And if I look here, I'll see that those four have now been selected. I'm going to say OK. And then I have my schematic inspector. Inspector is going to show me the properties of all those that are selected. So you see I have four selected. If I look at my four that are selected, and here it says value 100 nanofarads, maybe I want to make it 200 nanofarads. I'll hit enter. Now look, all four of these have changed at the same time to 200 nanofarads. Now when you're done doing this, on the bottom right it'll say clear. I can clear my selections. There we go. And now I've just changed all four of those caps at the same time. I didn't have to go through one at a time and click them. Of course if I want to make those changes I can save it here. Design, update PCB. It's not seeing the differences because it doesn't see a difference except for the values. That's all right. Let's come over here to my PCB and let's find some other ways we can do that. I have my parts on my PCB. I can do the same thing. Right click on my part. Tell it find similar object. Maybe I wanted to find everything that has a radial 0.1 footprint. And I've highlighted those four again. Maybe I want to make it a radial point too. Now, of course, I do that. My routing doesn't fit anymore. I'm going to do a control Z and change it back. But let's see what else we can do. Here's my PCB inspector. And here's my PCB filter. Now, in the filter, there's a lot of possibilities on how you can filter things in here. I'm going to clear this. I'm going to come to my filter and I'm going to say is designator. You see how it pops up already. It knows what I'm looking for. And I'm going to say the matching ones I want to select to. And you can zoom into them. The non matching deselect. Apply to all. So now look, all those designators are highlighted. Let's go to the PCB inspector. And I can see the text height and the text width. Let's change our text height to 40. You'll see my device, my, all my uh, designators shrink. And my text width to 7. Now you'll see that all my designators are smaller. But not these. Why didn't these change? Well, these are comments. So let's go back to the filter. is comment apply to all and my inspector I can do the same thing 40 by 7 we can clear that now I've made all my text on my board top overlay smaller and I did them all at the same time by using my filters and my inspectors and these are very common tools and very helpful. It will make a lot of the work you do on Altium much faster 
So uh, play around with them some. You'll see on the filter that there's a, a helper. You can look at the helper and say, how do you want to do it? By fields, by memberships, in component. Look at all these different types of ways of filtering things. Nets, polygons, pads, text. I mean, there's a ton of ways to filter things. So play around with it and get used to those. They're going to save you a lot of work and time and effort.